few, I mean, you don't have weekends like ordinary people, but you work for a number of days and then you have some days off. So she worked maybe one in six of the shifts during that year, and she had somehow caught all the events in her shifts. Definitely not a coincidence, according to Excel. And uh, this so, um, well, decided things. This is like a, 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 a little uh, crystal turning something from, from, from solution into crystals. Suddenly everything, there was a phase change and immediately the death which had already been recorded as natural death was, that was cancelled and it was an unnatural death. There was a second post-mortem immediately. And in the next days, a whole collection of incidents and deaths at this hospital and at another hospital where Lucia had been working uh, was, was put together and all attributed to, to Lucia. So in the two weeks around 11th of September, they had a list of 30 murders and attempted murders where Lucia had been there every time when unusual and uh, bad things had happened and the gossip grew and grew. And uh, though I suppose an unnatural death gets reported to a police, there was not a police investigation yet. Uh, the actual police investigation starts officially about here and already on that same day, the director of the hospital gave a press conference saying, um, well, he knew that, he realized that people had heard that there were some unfortunate occurrences been going on at his hospital. And uh, he certainly wanted to, he was rather worried and uh, embarrassed by it all, but he, they were doing everything in their power to uh, uh, restore the confidence of the uh, people in his hospital. And uh, a certain uh, nurse had been put uh, on uh, non-active. Um, so, at this moment, you have the director of a big hospital in a big city on TV telling journalists, we have caught a serial killer. There is no going back now. There is no going back now. From that point or around that time, top down in the hospital, the conviction uh, grew, extended to slowly to almost everyone that there had been a serial killer at work. It took a while to sort of reach the work floor again because many uh, of Lucia's colleagues didn't, couldn't say a bad thing about her. Uh, I should mention there are two kinds of nurses if you're ever in a hospital, uh, like uh, four and five of them mm, sort of do their work from nine to five and they're a bit busy and they might smile at you occasionally but probably not very often. And one in five of them are actually passionate about uh, you know, helping people get better. And uh, actually, these are the, uh, the nurses which actually help people to get better. But um, uh, Lucia was one of this latter kind. But when events like this happen, the guilt is always pointed at this kind of nurses, right? Because they get so involved with their patients. This is also suspicious. This is also the fear of men, of women having power over life and death and things. We don't like that. Apparently. Well, um, okay, so things were, go very fast in the Netherlands. Uh, our legal system, is a, a judicial system, is extremely efficient. It's probably one of the cheapest ones in the world. I think this is probably one of the reasons why the Dutch like it so much. Uh, uh, Lucia pleaded innocent, but she got a life sentence for four murders and two attempted murders at that children's hospital, at another hospital where she'd worked before, and another hospital where she'd worked before. And basically there was no proof of anything. There was no poison found. I make some, no, no, there was no poison found. There was these uh, four deaths and two uh, uh, resuscitations uh, seemed to have nothing in common. That was actually what they had in common was that they had nothing in common. There's an important point later. Uh, if Lucia was a murderer, she was an extremely clever murderer who managed to remove all possible traces of what she had done. No poison, they ch the children or the old people weren't suffocated. Nothing, absolutely nothing. What was important was statistics. A statistician popped up and said one in 342 million in court. One in 342 million, this coincidence is impossible. Sorry, 
Yes, you are thinking of at the next level, at the higher court. At this level, there was none. No, no. Uh, there was, I mean, at this level, one of the things there was, was a, a guy in the detention center who had said that he had heard Lucia saying that she had helped these people to their end. Uh, later, he admitted he'd just said this to, uh, you know, be important or something. There was no medical proof at this level at all. And it was only, she only got four murders and two attempts. She got life for it. The, uh, the statistics was kind of the only hard thing. And I know from having spoken to journalists who were in the room, the courtroom, when the statistician said one in 300, of million, there was a stunned silence. People had sort of, you know, it looked kind of extreme, as you'll see in a moment, uh, but okay. But when you say one in 342 million, uh, this kind of sealed Lucia's fate at that point. Certainly, it, it turned the opinions of a number of uh, intelligent, educated uh, journalists, for instance, who from that point onwards were convinced that Lucia was uh, a killer. Uh, actually, there was also an argument uh, uh, which also impressed people who were sitting in the court at the time, and that was that uh, Lucia was a liar. The judges were very clever at sort of uh, provoking her to say things which later she had to retract. Uh, well, they were clever at showing she was a liar, however you like it. Uh, some people who were sitting there thought it was an incredible, uh, uh, um, what's the word? I mean, uh, <laughs> travesty, right? I mean, a, a doctor is allowed to forget what he did on one day and, and say something different on one occasion or another occasion. Okay, he just forgot. But if Lucia says one thing one day and then later hears a doctor say, yes, but it wasn't this day, it was the other day, then she says, oh, well, I suppose you must be right. And now, but now she's a liar because the first time she said something which has been contradicted. And uh, a number of, of journalists were very impressed how clever the judges were to, in a little bit treat mean way, but they really established that she was a devious liar. Other people sitting in the courtroom thought it was appalling and a travesty. We never saw her uh, or her pictures of her. Uh, the nearest was we saw a photograph of her feet in the courtroom and you could see she was wearing rather than pretty white sandals and her toenails were painted pink. I don't think this was wise of her. But, uh, because, uh, and of course it was very unwise to plead innocent. You don't do that in Holland. People never used to do that. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, they did lots and lots of autopsies. They found nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Well, in a moment, I'll tell you, they did find something, perhaps. But there was, they did not find anything. They could not find any, there was no link to any particular poison or anything. Um, both the defense and the prosecution appealed. Uh, in the Netherlands, the prosecution is also allowed to appeal because, of course, they had actually wanted to have her put away for 10 murders or 14 or something. And this 4 plus 2 is not enough. Well, I mean, she got a life sentence anyway. In the Netherlands, you can't have multiple life sentences. Life is just life. It's not like in the US where you can go to jail for a thousand years. Sorry? Yes. <laughs> okay. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Now, uh, so there was an appeal, and that time, uh, uh, actually, it appeared that medical proof had been found. Medical proof was found that the baby Amber had died of poison for the joxin, which seemed to have been found in some organs of that baby, like the fourth or fifth time that they looked. Um, they uh, believed that she had had an opportunity because there was a window of time when she was apparently with the child but nobody else was, so she could have. Uh, they also found a motive for her. It was a bit of a strange motive. It was, the motive was that she had a compulsion because 